This month, we've gone over all things one-year-olds. We've talked about changing behaviors, how to help them through those fussy times. We've talked about the one-year checkup and what to expect, and the ridiculous one-year birthday parties. We do have to cover a few other big changes for baby, and more importantly, how to implement them. The big changeover. There's three big things that happen right at the one-year mark. The first one is getting away from formula and going to milk. We generally recommend whole cow's milk. Um, the key, though, is not to give them more than 16 ounces a day and to keep in mind that they don't need any milk. If they'll take it from a cup, that's great because then you can get them off the bottle. We definitely like to have them off the bottle by, say, 18 months, I think, at the, at the latest. Number two, unfortunately, at the one year mark, a lot of babies go from two naps a day to one. Here's how to do it. It kind of varies with the kid and the situation, but those naps will get shorter and shorter. And once they get to be about 45 minutes or less, then you probably need to think about squishing them into, into one nap. The other thing to mention is, uh, at this point, many babies are in a crib but they also can pull up and can walk, and we really worry that they're gonna to try to climb out of their crib. You don't wanna discover that somebody can climb out of their crib by hearing a thunk in the night. So if you see a kid you know, throwing a leg up over the side of the rail, uh, it's time to think about a toddler bed. And third, let's talk about car seats. A lot of the time at this age, they grow out of that infant seat and they need a toddler seat. We want them to stay rear facing until the age of two. We've learned that that is safer for, for their neck if they're in an accident, but they're gonna be too big for that little bucket. And so they're gonna need to be in a toddler seat, which is a high backed uh, seat that stays in the car all the time. They have expiration dates on them. So if you, if you pick up one that's been gently used, make sure it's been gently used and not in an accident and make sure it hasn't expired the plastic breaks down over time and so it makes it it makes it less less safe we've also talked about all of these topics on our it takes a village facebook page so if you missed one you need some reference just log on and join